Lions are going to bring an extra man. Fields climbing the pocket. And there is that athleticism from Justin Fields into Detroit territory. He pops up into Kirby Joseph. They make sure they're all right. And Justin Fields have been great. It's been later in the game that they have tried to figure it out. Nice run by Foreman. He's got the first down and he lunges towards the 30. 13-yard pickup for Deontay Foreman. He's been running back by committee and then Fields when he's been in there. Fields keeps it. Plenty of space. Justin Fields, a first down on the ground. He's going to line up wide. DJ Moore has only run the ball one time this year. He's going to fake it to Fields and run it for a second time this year. And he's into the end zone. His first career rushing touchdown in the NFL. Yeah, you watch this right here. Okay, Johnson going to come down here, get the block on the edge, and then we've got right here on the uh, Jones on the outside, running up there, getting a great block, securing that edge, and more. Play clock winding down, they get the snap off. Goff into a tight window for Sam Laporta, and in a season where he's had better than 60 catches, 65 of them, that was one of his best of the year. Well, Graham Glasgow, remember, is making the start for Frank Ragnow. That's a big change up front for Detroit. Ragnow is out after he left last week with a knee issue. Amon Ross St. Brown gets the penalty yardage back and then gets shoved out by Edwards. Just love his overall game. He and DJ Moore, two of the best in terms of contested catches in the NFL this year. Bears bring a blitz, and they get to Goff. It's Yannick Ngakwe. Lions trying to generate a pass rush here. Hutchinson at the bottom against Darnell Wright. Fields somehow escapes, still on his feet. Justin Fields making some magic happen out to the 30-yard line. He's got a better feel for that right now. Fields loads up. Oh, wow, I don't know how that ball got into Darnell Mooney. To the 31-yard line. I thought... That was going to be a pick for Cam Sutton. Here they come. Extra man for Detroit. And they got to Fields that time. Jalen Reeves Mabin in his 100th NFL game has his first full sack as an NFL player. Sliding that way, you come from the opposite side and create that pressure. Cairo Santos was the special teams player of the month in November in the NFC. Big Penny Sewell over to the opposite side and get unbalanced right here. And they flip the line a little bit. Sewell, usually the right tackle, is working off the left. And Gibbs goes to the right and bursts through behind Dan Skipper instead. It's on the cusp of his range. Pressure coming from the Bears, so Goff throws it quickly to Gibbs, who could not hold on. By the fourth down. This is at the edge of Patterson's range, so they're going for it on fourth down and ten. And Goff is picked up by Jalen Johnson. Still on his feet. Lost the football, but it's out of bounds. There's also a flag down. Return team, number four. Ten-yard penalty from the spot. First down. Fake to Herbert. Fields. Finds a man, it's Cole Komet with plenty of space, and they get out from their own 15-yard line and get into Detroit territory with one fell swoop. Sure, the opponent's quarterback, you can't hold up for three, four, five seconds on that back end in coverage. Design run for Fields, and he is going to be stopped, I think, a yard shy by Benito Jones. Or a pitch. And it's D.J. Moore who gets the pitch. And Detroit gets the stop. Get yourself a first down and continue to, to control and dominate the line of scrimmage. Now you give Detroit a chance to get back in this game. And go back to what they do very well, and that's run the football. Just a four-man rush. Goff has time, and he connects for the first down. It's caught. Excellent job by Donovan Peoples-Jones, his first catch. Now a little pop to Amon Ross St. Brown, and he's close to the sticks. Little flip. Here comes Gibbs. First down, and a touchdown as he moves past Jackson. 
And the Lions are on the board. Guys out here that you can go right here and right here. You've got Penny Sewell. You've got Mitchell out there on the edge. Great job capturing that edge. And I'm telling you what, those guys are running, blocking. Heard Christina Pink give us that report. Although here, no good on the extra point from Jack Fox. Or Riley Patterson, beg your pardon. That's only his second miss this season. Nothing but pure entertainment must see television week in and week out. Second and nine, Fields. Boy, they are really bracketing Aiden Hutchinson. He's trying to catch up to Justin. He never gave up on that play. They had two guys on Aiden Hutchinson. Third and long, just a four-man rush, and it gets to Fields. Hutchinson got to Fields that time. Third and short. Goff over the middle, and it's caught. First down, Sam Laporta. And they swing it out to Gibbs. Slips away from Edmonds. He's got the first down. And now Chicago cannot stop the clock. Off end zone shot easy for Josh Reynolds, his old Rams teammate. They're getting it done in Detroit, and the Lions have taken the lead for the first time today. Well, down here to the single receiver side, and you're just going to run that slant, but Gibbs is going to come out underneath and hold Brisker number nine underneath to open up that window. You can see it right there, and that's one when you tell your defensive players play it high to low, right? Get back there and help the slant. Process all season for this Bears organization. Field stepping up, delivering down the middle for Darnell Mooney. Out near midfield, he's grabbed by Campbell to gain a 16 to move the chains. Second down and six, Fields, quick shot underneath, and it's a first down for Bayless Jones. Just his fifth catch of the season that moves the chains. Lions with an extra man. Fields looking up top for D.J. Moore. He's got it for a first down. Me? What are you? Is it me there? Is it me? Pressure coming from the Lions. Fields with time. Gets rid of it. And it's caught by the rookie Tyler Scott. And he's got the first down. Play on third and goal. Fields looking. Nothing downfield. Now delivers back of the end zone. Incomplete. Well, that's been the story for the Bears too often this year, settling for field goals when they get this deep. Santos is true to tie the game at 13. Ties that back in together with the front end. Really does a great job with that. Goff stepping up. Low throw incomplete. A third straight three and out from the Chicago defense. Here is Foreman. Good run on first down. Picks up six. It's the details yep. that catch the Bears. Fields. Tough throw. Contested attempt. And Cole Komet beats Alex Anzalone for the catch at first down. Long term, if that's the style of your offense. Pressure coming. Justin Fields lost the football. It is grabbed by Darnell Wright. He's hit by Kaminsky and brought down by Barnes. And he got the jump. It's a free play. Fields for more. Got him. Touchdown. Bears lead. Well, you're going to get the safety come down here, so you know you've got one-on-one -on -one with Moore on the bottom of the screen. Justin Fields reads it perfectly. Watch this. On the, into, the, into the boundary right here. He sees that one-on-one. -on -one. Just burns Jacobs for the touchdown. That is blocked. The extra point is blocked. It was Romeo Okwara who got a piece of it. And here comes the cavalry. Big Benito Jones was running it back, trying to pick up a point. He's on the left in that unbalanced look. Oh, a fumble on the snap. Loose on the deck. Bears are claiming they've got it. And it is ruled Chicago football. Number 264 today. Fields. 
floating it for Foreman with a nice over the shoulder catch. Tried the leap, and Cam Sutton was there to bring him down. Fields rolling out. Justin Fields, his eyes are on the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Bears. Well, you're going to see it. You're going to run a game here, and we don't get back to the outside. So everybody gets trapped on the inside. Here goes Hutchinson inside, creates that opening, and then Justin Fields and that speed and athleticism just crossing over the goal line. In the first matchup between the two teams. Fake it to Foreman. Fields under pressure. Throw into the end zone, and it's incomplete for Moore, so it remains. Well, you said it, Mark. It was a lot like the last game. On third and long. Goff fires to the sticks. It's caught by Reynolds, but he ran back behind the line to gain. The Bears trying to recreate something of that sort. Third and six. Pressure coming. Fields gets rid of it, and D.J. Moore snatches it in front of Vildor out of the air for the first down. Fake it to Foreman. Fields loads it up. And somehow DJ Moore comes flying into the screen. That, that he has to work on. But boy, I'll tell you what, he's been pretty good so far today. Third and two. Fields looking for Mooney, and he cannot hold on. Tough throw, tough catch attempt. Santos right through again. Three for three today. Not give up big plays, and it's really hard to score. And this is a testament to their defense right now. Here comes Montgomery, gashing the Bears' defense that time, though. Sam Laporta, good blocking. 13-yard pickup there. They're in a pass rush mode, so they're not playing the run effectively. So they'll go right back to the ground. Jump cut Montgomery, and Jackson brings him down inside the Bears' 45-yard line. Four-man rush. It's Montgomery trying to get away, and he stumbles ahead for the first down. What an effort by David Montgomery. Probably should have been down from Tremaine Edmonds and instead outruns the Bears' defense for 10. Goff under pressure, and he's wrapped up and brought down. It is Jervon Dexter Sr. It is the first NFL sack for the rookie out of Florida. Goff down the middle, and it's incomplete for St. Brown. On to as much time as possible as well. They got to get the stop here, and they will on Johnson. So now the clock inside of 420. 28 to 13, Bears lead it. Three and a half remains. Goff. Oh, what a catch by Reynolds. Jaquan Brisker was in the area, and a twisting Reynolds, who has a touchdown today, was able to spit away for 27. For Goff in that relationship with his receivers today. Goff under pressure. Down he goes again. This time, it's the Walter, Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee, Justin Jones. And since then, a couple of sacks. Fourth down in Naperville here. Long throw for Goff. That should have been a pick for Stevenson. We'll check the flag on the far side of the field. Offside. Defense, number 94. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. And they got seven guys back about 20 yards away or more. Goff hit as he delivers into the arms of Edmonds. One step closer to sealing the deal. Toss play for Foreman. And he'll grind out a couple of yards. Lions are out of timeouts. This is going to take us down to the two-minute warning. The best formation in football right here, victory formation. It's our nickname of our producer in high school, victory formation. <laughs> Look at the relief. Yes. Look at the relief on that man's face. First time winning back-to-back -back games as Bears head coach. And they are now five and four in their last nine. One thing about him, man, he's got, like, he has been so steady with this football team. They respect him so much as the head coach.